Hey Scorpio, I hope you're doing well. This is going to be a general reading for what Wednesday and Thursday will bring. So this is May 1st and May 2nd energies here. Okay, so we're going to see what those days might bring, what the cards have to say about it, Scorpio. I do have personals open for the time being. If anyone is interested, details are down below. But we're going to go ahead and start on the reading and see what we've got for you here. Okay, Scorpio. Hmm. A lot of air energy, all air energy other than your overall, which is the chariot, which this is good. I'm glad this is here as your overall energy. It's victory. It's triumph over obstacles. It's forward movement. I feel like there's something here you could have been grieving over. You have the three of swords, but you move to the four of swords. So, you know, these three swords are no longer probing you in the heart. You're resting on this sort of clarity, this sort of truth. Some of you Wednesday might start off kind of confusing, or it's like you don't have the answers that you want, or you don't hear back from somebody, but I do feel like you ended on a peaceful note. I feel like you calm down. You come out of a a cloudy energy or a tough time so it does seem like there is some clarity that comes in or you get some actual answers in regards to something here you also have the five of swords though so there's you know this is like mental conflict sometimes it can be petty energy someone who will win at all costs so you have the three four and five of swords okay this is not a new deck i've had this deck for years and so it's very weird that those are showing up in um, you know in order like that so it seems like there's a little bit of an up and down energy on these two days but I mean, you also have the Queen of Swords right here. So it looks like there's something you end up putting this behind you. I feel like you get sick of something. I feel like you, you grow tired of something here, Scorpio. We're going to find out what's happening. Um, what's going on here with the Three of Four of Swords? I mean, the chariots, your overall energy, you end it with that Queen of Swords. Look at the way she's sitting. Like, she's putting that energy behind. She's so done with it, right? Let's see what we got. Ten of Wands. Knight of Pentacles. Something is too slow moving or it's become too much of a burden for you. I feel like there is major clarity coming in on one of these days, likely Wednesday, but it just seems like a lot of you, you're being more cautious. It almost seems Scorpio. It's like, I know what I need to do. You know, like 10 of wands, tens are endings, right? Some of you, you're like, I know what I need to do. You know, it could involve an air sign. It might involve a Virgo or a Cancerian, but you know, it's, it's like you're being cautious with it, you know, with the decision, right? Or you're being slow moving with the decision. Um, what's going on with the five of swords, queen of swords, Yeah, I mean, you have the Nine of Cups and you have the High Priestess showing up right here. I do feel like you end up going with your intuition, going with your gut here and leaving a situation behind. Some of you, it's like you're wanting to give a person the benefit of the doubt, but it's like the energy just keeps moving up and down. It keeps shifting. For a small portion of you, though, I do feel like you are in a, um, you know, in some sort of process, maybe application of some sort. It could have to do with school, right? It's like, you know, you haven't heard back. You get answers. Something gets approved. You have to turn something else in. You have to do this, do that. So that could be the, you know, Three of Swords and then Four of Swords. There's calm there's peace there's harmony and then five of swords it's like gosh you know there's some sort of problem with something or i have something else to do I have something else to turn in you know it could be something like that okay but you know these energies being present here with the court cards it really feels to me like you're you're leaving someone behind you're just done with it you're ready to move on from it i think you're highly supported you could be spending time with family friends you know people who uplift you motivate you and if you're not able to spend time with them you could just be calling them on the phone i feel like you're just really ready to move forward from a really toxic and chaotic situation here so it does look like an ending it looks like clarity it looks like support victory triumph over obstacles some of you you could be planning a move that could be what the up and down a little bit of chaotic energy is but you know that's what i'm seeing here i hope that this was helpful full Scorpio. Details are down below for anybody who's interested in personals, Instagram, or Patreon, but if this is where we part, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye.